Uh, I usually draw by doing this on paper first, and then I'll scan it into the computer, and then I'll do edits on the computer. My name is Jean Luen Yang. I am a cartoonist, and I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area. I started drawing when I was two, and what my mom tells me is that I just never stopped. I kept drawing and drawing and drawing uh, until today. My parents were definitely very concerned about building that, that link, you know, between their children and the place that they left. They usually tried to strengthen that link through stories. My mom told me mostly like Chinese myths. You know, the Monkey King was a favorite. She told me lots of stories about the Monkey King when I was a kid. So this right here is towards the beginning of the book. This is the Monkey King interacting with a Chinese door god. I did go through a period of time when I was embarrassed and ashamed of my own cultural heritage. I was ashamed of even the way I looked. And this panel right here kind of symbolizes my childhood desire to be white. <laughs> it took me five years to finish the book. And at that point, I graduated college. I was a high school teacher. And especially in college, I felt like I began working some of this stuff out. American Born Chinese, the book, is divided into three different sections. One section is about the Monkey King, who's this figure from Chinese legend. And the second section is about a young Chinese American boy growing up in a predominantly white neighborhood. And then the third section is about this living embodiment of all of the negative Asian and Asian American stereotypes that I grew up with. So the, the book is set loosely during my own childhood. So, you know, 80s, early 90s. But the show, we made, a, we, we made the decision early on that it would be set now. It would be set in the 2020s. So do you have a lab partner yet? Is there a Jim Wang here? Wong. This is Wayne Chung. Wei Chen. He's a new student and he's Chinese, like you. He's going to tag along to all of your classes. I found seats for us. Come on. Except in math. He's way ahead of you in math. I, I think the core of both the book and the show are the same. It's about a kid who's struggling with self-acceptance. You know, he, he has a a piece of himself that he's very embarrassed about. And the story is about how he eventually figures out how to accept that piece and even take pride in it. What's going on? I'm not from this world. To finally get included in American stories, it's, um, there's something affirming about that. You know, there's something that says, you are no longer a foreigner. You're actually a part of this. Our stories are worthy of being on the page and are worthy of being on the screen.